What's up guys and welcome to vacation day number one. We are in Pattaya, Thailand. Imagine that. There are several reasons for that. I'll get into those in a moment. Today I'm going to show you what a typical day in Pattaya is like when you don't want to spend a lot of money and how much you can budget for an average day of just hanging out, not doing a whole lot, relaxing a little bit, and we'll see how much it costs at the end of the day. So come with me, this is gonna be fun, and I'll explain everything as we go. Typically when people come to Pattaya, they get up around 11 a.m. or noon. So this video is starting at noon, and this will give you kind of an overview of what the entirety of the day kind of will look like. Um, sort of what you can spend and the things that you can do on a one day budget here in Pattaya. Now, what am I doing in Pattaya? Why did I start my vacation in Pattaya? Well, there are two reasons for that and only two reasons. One, uh, the secondary reason is I wanted to see my friends and the primary reason is my dentist is here in Pattaya and I may be stuck here for five to seven days. Um, I actually may be stuck here longer than that because um, I have a lot of dental work that needs to be done and I have to wait until Wednesday uh, to see the next, uh, I guess, orthodontic, orthopedic specialist. Um, she's some kind of fancy doctor. And I saw the first doctor on Saturday when I got here. Today is Sunday. I haven't even begun the entire month of April yet, which is good. Um, we're also throughout this series of vacationing Thailand in April. We're going to talk about rates and budgets, and I'm going to give you guys hotel prices and where I stayed, what I did. Um, these things are going to be coming out over time. As far as I know right now, this is the first video in this series. I will give you a hotel review, um, and I will keep you updated with what I'm going to be doing in Pattaya and then I will take you to the next place and we will do it all over again. I will give you cost, price list, and really do some analysis of breaking down what it takes to get around here. So, with that being said, let's get the day started, guys, and let's see how much money we can't spend today. Just in case any of you are wondering, this is not what you wanna see when you roll out of bed in the morning in Pattaya. It's noon and it's raining. Rainy season is officially upon us. And as you can see, thank God I have a GoPro. So, uh, we're gonna be using a poncho to ride the motorbike with and gonna be looking for some breakfast very shortly. Uh, if you don't recognize the place where I'm staying, I have a hotel review coming out on it and I'll tell you all about it then. But as for right now, it's raining a lot harder than it looks and we're gonna stay put. The weather says that it should clear up by 2 p.m., but I am starving because I've been awake for a while, so maybe I can run across the street and grab some food real quick. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Remember, we're eating cheap, we have no plans, and we are flying by the seat of our pants. This is what you call wing it traveling. Okay guys, just in case you want to have a good breakfast, this is Smoking Joe's and I'm talking really quiet because it's very quiet in here. Um, I want you to know that this is a more expensive place to eat breakfast. It's not really on the cheap, 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 but it's definitely not the most expensive either. So for about 400 baht, I'm going to get out of here um, for breakfast and that's going to be roughly around 12 US dollars. This is for a good, wholesome breakfast. I'll show you guys a picture of it in just a second. Um, but you will enjoy Smoking Joe's. They have reasonable prices. You can get out of here for as little as uh, $4 on uh, US dollars um, in terms of uh, how much it costs to actually eat breakfast here. But you gotta start the day somewhere. Maybe tomorrow we'll start at a cheapo place. Never know. Let's get breakfast out of the way and then see what else we can do. So I told you this was going to be a very healthy breakfast. That is some type of salad, lemon, there's some fancy cheese, sourdough toast, tomatoes, 
Um, I have no idea what kind of green stuff that is, but I'm sure it's good for you. And uh, that's 295 baht. So we'll wait on the bill, and I'll show you the final price tag. Okay, guys. As you can see, I was a little bit wrong. It's only 325 baht, which is $10.25. And I pretty much demolished breakfast. There's my coffee. There's my Coke. So $3.25 for everything. $10 breakfast. And this is a really, really wholesome breakfast. That actually had a uh, smashed avocado on the bottom of it. So just a little side note here. When I'm in Thailand, I try to only eat, or excuse me, when I'm in, when I'm in Pattaya, or if I'm traveling to uh, other cities outside of where I live, I always try to eat only two meals a day and I try to make them fairly large and very very healthy if I can I don't always get that accomplished but that's my goal the reason for that is it keeps me from having to stop and it overall saves me money so with that being said that is breakfast let's go okay ladies and gents the good news is it looks like it has cleared up outside that's a great thing. So we have now had breakfast and it is about 3.15 in the afternoon. Now normally around this time, if you're here for vacation or holiday, this is a wonderful opportunity to take a nap, sleep for an hour or two, get ready for the night. Um, you guys know I'm just not much of a nightlife person. I enjoyed the nightlife when I first started coming to Patia, enjoyed going out. You know, it was all new, the flashing lights and all of that good stuff but it, it it's gotten i don't even like go out at night hardly any because it's just boring to me but anyway um so i'm probably gonna head down and get some coffee and meet a friend later and probably meet a friend for dinner and um maybe grab a foot massage later on or something try to find a little something exciting for you guys possibly we'll go for a little uh set down on the beach and we'll see how cheap we can uh come out today and when i say cheap i don't mean you know like really really cheap because we could have eaten breakfast at a much cheaper place um probably can do much cheaper things but this is just an average day for you know just goofing off in pataya okay we had a slight change of plans and we decided southern coffee would be better actually when i say we i mean me and when i say better i mean i literally spilt half the coffee on myself so way to go jeremy right but this is southern coffee and central festival in patia uh the coffee was about i think 75 baht so not bad at all um i don't know what that is in dollars uh less than three dollars i don't know like 275 or something so anyway um very cheap coffee get a little boost and go meet my friend a little bit later hopefully he'll be able to appear on camera and uh we'll bring you a uh, little food review of the meal and um, i'm gonna walk over here to this camera store and see if i can find a real camera probably won't be able to but i'm gonna try anyway all right guys sorry for the background noise but i got the ac going and the fan going i'm getting ready to hop in the shower um one cool thing about patia is i shoot a lot of videos around here and um you know a lot of people have seen my videos on youtube not that i'm some kind of youtube special whatever but i ran into a guy i was on my way home to take a shower and i ran into a guy that wanted to pick my brain about teaching uh english in thailand so we sat down and talked for about an hour and that killed an hour of the day i mean um and it was a great conversation super nice guy um uh ex-military uh younger guy about probably about uh about my age maybe a little bit younger and um wanted to know about teaching english for his friend we sat down and we talked for a while and um uh, he had a drink i had a coke and i have to tell you it was a pleasant conversation so um i want to tell you guys that don't have youtube channels or that don't have uh you know public visibility that you can run into people uh sitting at a bar uh in a restaurant um walking down the street that you can have a conversation with this guy just happened to recognize me from youtube but you don't have to be recognizable is what i'm trying to tell you so when you come to places like this especially if you come by yourself always remember that 
it's very easy to strike up a conversation with just about anyone so um, don't ever uh, think that you're going to be just bored to death all day because it's never going to happen in the city the only way to get bored in Patia is to make yourself bored and if you're that person you're probably in the wrong place anyway sorry all right we are headed for the shower then we're going to meet steve-o for dinner